Hello, my name is Marcin Kaminski and I am from Agnar Company. This tutorial is created to show you how you can control soldering process with our solution. Our solution consists of robot cooker, soldering control is used, and special software under control, robot control that you can control soldering process. I will show you in a moment how easy it is for you to control the whole soldering process. Uh, first thing you have to do when you set up soldering station is to define a tool and the working area. And these two steps uh, are being done only one time in life. So after you set up them, uh, you don't have uh, to change uh, those settings. We have uh, done this before and now I will show you uh, what to do next. Um, after that, uh, you have uh, to configure uh, the you have to set up points on the soldering uh, plate. Uh, to do that you have to go to configuration on the, the screen with uh, setting the soldering points. Um, you click add, uh, appears a new point and uh, after that uh, you can uh, set up um, position of the soldering point. Um, we have uh, set up four points earlier. Now I go to the screen with uh, soldering recipes. Um, in our solution we divided the soldering process of the soldering array in uh, three steps. First step is a uh, set of instructions uh, before soldering tip uh, touches soldering array. Uh, the second step, the second set of instructions is when the soldering tip uh, touches soldering array. And the last one, the third, is set of instructions when the robot leaves so they can be. Um, For every of those set, uh, sets, you have uh, instructions to set uh, temperature of heater, uh, to set up uh, the amount of tin you want to uh, give, um, and the time uh, that you have to wait in the process. For now, let's set um, instruction uh, for the uh, first, uh, first first instruction in the first set of instructions. This instruction will be setting temperature of the heater. Uh, we will set up here 380 degrees centigrade. Um, and let's um, give some tin. Let's uh, say uh, 20 millimeters with speed 15 millimeters per second. Um, now uh, we will set up instructions uh, that have to be done when the soldering tip touches soldering soldering area. Uh, first will be uh, first instruction will be wait. Uh, we will wait here for two seconds. After that we will give uh, more tin with bigger speed and the last thing we will wait here for about five, uh, 3 seconds. Now we have to go back to the main screen and we can start uh, soldering process. We have wait a little for the tin to reach uh, desired temperature. And that's all. Now let's change the. Uh, let's see how we can change this um, process for the first uh, soldering point. We go to the configuration screen. Um, I will do just one thing uh, that uh, the soldering tip touches uh, uh, the other place on the plate. Um, so I will change the coordinates of the point. Let's say here we have 5 millimeters. 
uh, we go back to the, our uh, instructions and now we want to change the uh, uh, instructions for uh, when the soldering tip uh, uh, touches the soldering gary we want to give some more tin uh, let's say 2 millimeters uh, with different speed 20 millimeters per second and we will wait here another um, two seconds. Now I will do something uh, in the instruction to be done after the robot, the robot moves away from the point. I will set here the temperature. I will change the temperature of the soldering tip uh, to 350 degrees centigrade. Now let's go back to the main screen and start the process again. We have to wait for the tip to reach the amount, the desired temperature. As we have seen uh, earlier, uh, there are programmed four points. But we haven't set yet any um, soldering instructions for the points, uh, so the robot does nothing. I show you how you can easily and fast change instructions uh, for the soldering process. In this short tutorial, I'll show you how it is easy to control soldering process with our solution. For the list of all functionalities, please refer to the specification.